of On the Moon. We're climbing a hill. Mountain, Cosmo. It's a mountain. <sighs> I'm getting tired, Dad. Tired? You need more exercise, Cosmo. I work out 20 times a day and I never get tired. Then could you please carry me home? Carry you? But I don't want to go home. Your mum will want me to do all that washing. Mm. Oh, all right then. Come on! <laughs> Dad, do you think you could climb the biggest mountain on the moon? If it got me out of doing the washing, I'd climb the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. <laughs> Dad, I haven't had a clean lab coat in three days. Either do the washing or climb the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. Climb the biggest mountain! <gasps> Dad wants to climb the mountain! Well, I didn't think... what? <laughs> I need some geological samples, you see. Extrusive igneous. Rock study. Oh, you need rocks. Right. And just how much washing is there? A lot. Mountain climbing it is. But where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? You're going to planet Mars, home to the Olympus Mons, the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. I need some rocks that can only be found there at the very top. Take Lifter with you. She'll carry you most of the way. Lifter is a big machine who helps out around the moon base. She's very strong. Whoops! <laughs> Don't mind me. She's also a bit clumsy. And Dad can climb any mountain all by himself. Of course I can. You're still taking Lifter. <laughs> <laughs> now if I can't climb it all by myself, I'm going to look silly. Let's find out about Mars. The observatory, please. Patching you through now. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Mars. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one here is called Mars. Mars is a red planet. Mars is a little smaller than planet Earth where everyone watching today lives. Mars has two very little moons, like rocks, circling around it. So remember, Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. Could you please help me remember that? Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. Thanks. Cosmo out. <laughs> Now, I know you say you can climb any mountain. Any mountain, as high as you like. We'll get your rocks. Begin launch sequence. Out into space. Out among the stars. Is a little red planet. We call Gil, engage autopilot. You call it autopilot like it happens on its own. You know it just means me flying you there, right? That's right, Gil. Engage you flying us to Mars. Right, Mars. 
That's what? The Ooh. round planet? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Will you help me find Mars? Great! Oh, the planets look very small out there in space. We can just see the colour. So which one is Mars? Is Mars a blue planet, a red planet, or a yellow planet? A red planet, that's it. Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. That's it, Gil. <laughs> Mars is so rocky and red. Let's go and find this big mountain. Lifter, stay here. We won't need your help, so you can read my book. It's about abs. You don't have abs, but... Oh, no, I do love a good read. To the Olympus Mons. Oh. Oh. This is going to be easier than I thought, Cosmo. Biggest mountain in the solar system. Ha! Dad, I'm not sure that is the Olympus Mons. Oh? Then where is it? I think that's it. Yes, that's much bigger. <laughs> wow, the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. The Olympus Mons on Mars is the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. I don't think we can make it up there by ourselves. We should call Lifter. Lifter? No! I said I could climb the biggest mountain in the whole solar system, and if I can't climb it all by myself, I'll look silly. <laughs> Pretty tiring. <sighs> I can't even see how far up we are. We need to keep going to get over the next ridge. I don't think I can, Dad. You can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. This mountain is too big, Dad. I can't go any further. If only my thighs were stronger. And my abs. Oh, why didn't I do 20 more stomach crunches this morning? We'll have to call for Lifter. No, Cosmo. If I can't climb it all by myself, I'll look silly. <laughs> you don't want to look silly? No. Dad, you always look silly. I do not. Oh, yes. I have an idea. Let's make Dad look even sillier. Let's draw a clown face on Dad. <laughs> <laughs> a mouth and funny big eyes. One thing is missing to make a perfect clown face. What do clowns have right in the middle of their faces? A big clown's nose. Now, does Dad look silly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I love my silly dad very much. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking silly's not so bad. You know what? We can't do this by ourselves. Lifter, come in, Lifter. We need help. <laughs> Go, Lifter! All the way to the top! <laughs> <laughs> A 
I believe this is your stop, Petal. Mm. Ooh. Wow! I can see the whole of Mars from up here. Mars is amazing! Got Mum's rocks! You did it, Dad! You climbed the Olympus Mons, the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. With a bit of help from Lifter. <laughs> Begin launch sequence! Out into space Out among the stars Is a little red planet We call Mars Fourth planet along We love to sing our song Cause going to Mars You know we can't go wrong And we learned something Today, Mars is home to the Olympus Mons, the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. Out into space, out among the stars, is a little red planet we call Mars. Oh. My exclusive igneous geological. My rocks. <laughs> Thank you. We climbed the mountain, Mum, with some help from Lifter. We conquered the Olympus Mons. The biggest mountain in the whole solar system. Mission complete. And now I have another mountain for you to conquer. You do? A mountain of washing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello! It's me, Cosmo! I live on the moon! Dad is jogging. Dad loves exercise. Exercise is fantastic, Cosmo! I'm okay. Just tripped over this plug. Well, not to worry. <laughs> I'm the jogging king! <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a workout! I'm a powerhouse! <laughs> a very thirsty powerhouse! I need a nice cool drink with loads of ice! Oh yes, ice is what I need! If there's one thing I want, it's ice! No ice! That's strange! The fridge isn't working! I'll fix it! I am a supercomputer after all! Running fridge diagnostics. Estimated time left quite a while. But I want ice now! Gil will figure it out, I'm sure. But until then, no ice, I'm afraid. Oh. <sighs> oh, this again. Any ice back here? Ice? Anywhere? Ice! Are you out there? Oh. You can still have a drink without ice, Dad. Without it, my drink will be warm. Warm! I just want ice. Dad is very upset about the ice. I better not mention it again in case Dad gets even more upset. I have an idea. Oh. Let's take a trip somewhere. Take your mind off. Well, let's just go somewhere. Okay. So, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Mercury, Venus, Earth or Mars? So many planets out there in the stars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus too. Don't forget Neptune. I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? How about one of my favourite planets, Planet Saturn? Ooh, one of the big ones. 
Let's find out about Saturn. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Saturn. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This big one is called Saturn. Saturn is a stripy yellow colour. It's a planet made of gas clouds. And the most amazing things about Saturn are the beautiful rings around it. So remember, Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet and you'll always know Saturn by its amazing rings. Could you please help me remember that? Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet and it has amazing rings. Thanks. Cosmo out. We'll leave Mum with Gil to fix the fridge. But what about my ice? I still want ice. <laughs> Try to forget about the ice, Dad. We'll have a great time on Saturn. Begin launch sequence. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. Cloud and gas, yellow stripes it has. It's the gorgeous one, sitting six from the sun. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. We left Gil back home. Without him, how will we find Saturn? Dad, we were told all about Saturn. Weren't you paying attention? I was busy thinking about ice. Oh dear, will you help me find Saturn? Great! One of these three planets is Saturn, but which one? Is it the smallest planet, the biggest one, or this one that, oh, looks a little different? Which one is Saturn? Ah, this one is Saturn because it has big rings around it, remember? Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet and it has amazing rings. Saturn, here we come! <laughs> We're getting close now. Wait until you see it, Dad. Saturn is the most amazing planet. Let's get a better look. Saturn? No, that's Titan, Sol. One of Saturn's moons. Oh, but look! Saturn! It's one of the most amazing planets in the whole solar system. Aren't Saturn's rings fantastic? I wonder what they're made of. Thanks for taking me to Saturn, Cosmo. It's even better than that time I knitted a scarf as long as four <laughs> elephants. They never wore it. Elephants don't like sharing. Saturn almost makes up for not having any ice. Almost. Would you like to see more of Saturn? Yes. Time for a spacewalk! Everybody remember where we parked? Here goes. One, two, three. Whee! Woo! Oh, brilliant! Come on, Sol! Come on, Cosmo! <laughs> Up to the sky! <laughs> uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> Come on, Cosmo! Let's all go together! No, it looks a bit far. I'm a bit scared of floating out in space. <laughs> we all get scared sometimes. Don't let it hold you back. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course! Really? I can do it! That's right! I won't let being scared hold me back. Here I come. One, two, three. Whee! This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dad. He's having a great time. Daddy happy! He's very happy. Off I go 
to Saturn's rings! <laughs> and I think he's finally forgotten all about the ice. Wow! The rings are made of... Ice? Ice! Saturn's rings are made of ice! Lots and lots of pieces of ice! Hey! That's something amazing to tell your friends. Saturn's rings are made of ice. Sparkly! Then that means... We can use ice from Saturn's rings for your nice, cool drink. That's what I wanted all along! Ice! Oh, this is the best, iciest day ever! I love Saturn! Let's collect some ice! Cold! We should have worn gloves, Saw. My hands are getting very cold with all this ice. <laughs> Oh, so cold. Dad is getting too cold. Quick, we better get him inside. <laughs> now, who f f f f fancies an ice cold drink? <laughs> so lovely and cold. <laughs> oh, Dad. Hot oh. soup is much better when you're cold. <laughs> Saturn is amazing. And Saul, isn't it fantastic that Saturn's rings are made of ice? Bye-bye, <laughs> Saturn. Begin launch sequence. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful. Than Saturn and its rings. Cloud and gas. Yellow stripes it has. It's the gorgeous one. Sitting six from the sun. And we learned something amazing today. Saturn's huge rings are made of ice. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. Scan complete. The fridge isn't plugged in. What? Not plugged in. <laughs> oh, there's that plug I tripped over earlier. Better plug it back in. Oh, there we go. Fix the fridge, Dad, all by yourself. Mission complete. You're amazing, Dad. Yes, I am pretty amazing, aren't I? You do know that it was you who unplugged the fridge in the first place, don't you, Dad? Still amazing. And that's why I had to spend all day mopping the floor? Amazing. <laughs> don't worry. Even though Dad fixed the fridge, you're amazing too, Mum. You're both as amazing as Saturn. on the moon. It's very cold in here. I'm conducting an experiment measuring the exothermal properties of hydrogen in sub-zero temperatures. Mum is playing with cold things. It's all very scientific. <sighs> Stay back, Cosmo. The slightest mistake could ruin the whole experiment. We thought you hard workers could do with a drink. I made water. Well, poured water. Well, salted. <laughs> My experiment! Months of work. Gone. Lovely drinks. Gone. Mummy sad. It's okay. It was only water. But it's frozen all over my experiment. It looks like an ice rink now. An ice rink? For ice skating. 
I used to love ice skating, like a ballerina dancing on ice. Well, I'm too busy for ice skating these days. Gil, how long would it take to reset experiment conditions? Around seven months, four days, 11 hours, 22 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm sure I can find a quicker way. Your mum is the best ice skater I've ever seen. Even better than me, and I'm pretty fantastic. I have very strong ankles. I wish I could go ice skating. I got it! To finish my experiment sooner, I just need to take it somewhere incredibly cold. One of the coldest planets. Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? We're all going to Neptune, one of the ice planets. I'll prepare my equipment. An ice planet? Cosmo, there must be loads of places to ice skate there. Do you think so? Oh, there must be. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Right. Everything's ready. And are you ready for ice skating? Begin launch sequence. <laughs> It cold for me and you. Past all the other planets, towards the solar system's end. The ice giant, giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> That's not Neptune. That's Jupiter. Neptune is very different. Will you help me show Neptune to Sol? Great! Let's draw Neptune. Neptune is round. But what colour is planet Neptune? Yellow, red or blue? Which crayon would I need? Blue! Neptune is a blue planet. That's right. This is what Neptune looks like, Sol. Neptune is a blue planet. Blue planet. Yes, like that planet. Oh, that is Neptune. Neptune is a blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. So everyone needs to wrap up warm. Imagine an ice rink, disco lights. Well, they might not have disco lights, but as long as it's smooth and solid, we'll be able to skate. Who is flying the ship? The ship? Oh, the ship! Oh. 
entering Neptune's atmosphere now, all under control. Neptune is beautiful. So blue, so windy and swirly. Oh, I can't wait to go ice skating. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. Oh! No swish. <gasps> That's not smooth and solid. Be careful, everyone. The surface of Neptune isn't solid. <sighs> Gil, please extend the platform. Extending now. Thank you for saying please, I mean. It's only good manners, but it's still nice. Not solid. It's not like an ice rink at all. It's not even like the hard ground at home. Neptune's surface isn't solid. It's all smushy and mushy. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune's surface isn't solid. Amazing! But not very good for skating. Pretty sad. Swish, swish. If only there was some way of ice skating out here. Well, no point in complaining, unless there's a Neptune Complaints Department, which I don't think there is. To cheer us up, I brought water for everyone. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't worry, I'm fantastic at not slipping on ice. Whoa. Ouch. <gasps> whoa. Just need to bring this very delicate equipment down to Mum. Watch out, Gil! It's very... <laughs> Slippy. Slippy like an ice rink. The water has frozen and turned to ice. Dad, we can go skating on the ice! Oh, we couldn't skate on a patch of ice as small as this, Cosmo. For a big ice rink, we'd need lots of water. Gil, how much water have we got? Approximately 5.7968. Gil, is it lots? Yes. Beginning experiment. What now? Now we wait. Oh, if I'd known we'd be waiting, I'd have brought a book. Well, we can enjoy the peace and quiet. Surprise! I wasn't going to ruin it twice, was I? An ice rink? Ice skating! Whoa! 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 Take my hand. I might fall. You might, but you'll get better. I don't know, Mum. I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it! That's right! <laughs> Would you like to skate, Sol? Take my hand. Danger. The experiment was a success, Gil. You did very well. I did? Really? I mean, oh, yeah, of course. I am a supercomputer, you know. Begin launch sequence! Leave 
you. But for this Christmas song, makes it cold for me and you. And we learned something amazing today. Neptune doesn't have a solid surface. It's all mushy. Thank you, Dad. Mission complete! Now, would anyone like a drink before bed? Drinks? I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> Whiz. The home of ABCs, 1s through 3s and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs>